We even give them a bowl of water for the blind, for the guide dog. Okay. Last person out of the corridor. Everybody out of the corridor? Last one out, we shut the door for me, please. Okay, thank you. Right, this is the Manchester United players tunnel. Yeah, this is. Manchester United always line up on that side. The visiting team always line up on that side. That's because the other side of the wall here is the famous Stratford End, where the Manchester United have always had a great affinity with fans in the Stratford End. These boards here, these of you have got our sponsors' details on, but of course, as you've probably just heard, we've just changed sponsors, so we're no longer with Audi as our car sponsors, we're now with Chevrolet. So all these will be updated and then we'll put, maybe put back in here for them to do interviews and things sponsors. before the start of the season. Sponsors will. This is also our emergency access onto the pitch. After Hillsborough, when 96 people were killed, stadiums had to be redesigned. And we had to move our dressing room and tunnel from the halfway line down to this end of the stadium. Now this stand above me here holds 99 people but can be evacuated extremely quickly. If you follow the yellow lines down each side, that's hydraulic lifting gear in each corner. <coughs> this end here is actually on the pivot. So the stand that looks like that now actually goes 15 feet up into the air. The doors behind you, solid and barred ones, open the floor to ceiling. And the tunnel usually has a cover on it and it's on wheels and rails, which we can just move out of the way. So we can open those doors, door to ceiling, and if we want to, and which we have been doing to get the pitch like that, is we've been bringing heavy duty equipment through here, with that lifted up straight into the stadium. During the season, we can get the fire brigade, ambulance, police, or any other emergency vehicle we want in an emergency out into the stadium if we need to. Mm. Okay, so that's why all this is done here. You can say that lifts up there. The two gentlemen here and here, without these two, United wouldn't be what they are today. John Henry Davis here, he was a local brewery owner and he saved the club from going bankrupt in 1902. From 1878 to 1902, this famous football club was known as Newton Heath, Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway Cricket and Football Club. In 1902, he changed the name to Manchester United and the shirt colour to red. And in 1909, he spotted a plot of land his brewery owned in Trafford Park, Manchester, that he thought might be a great place to build a football stadium. Guess where that was? Here. Right here. Standing on right where we're standing now. This gentleman over here, James Gibson, he saved the club from going bankrupt in the 1930s. He also made one of the best signings ever for the club. When in 1945 he appointed somebody called Matt Busby as the manager. And we know what happened after that, don't we? Busby Babes, Munich, and everything else that's gone to help make Manchester United the worldwide institution it is today. Right, before we move on, I want to have a little bit of fun with you. So what I want you to do is split yourself up into two teams. It doesn't matter which side you go on, you're going to get exactly the same experience. So split yourself up into two teams, quickly. Two teams, quickly. We made Two teams, right, okay. Is anybody on this team celebrating anything? A birthday, anniversary, divorce? <laughs> no? Celebrating divorce. Okay. <laughs> Professional. Okay. What's your name? Lou. Come stand here. Take your hands out of your pockets, you captain. Okay. Get behind Lennon, this your captain. Anybody on this team celebrating anything? Your name? You want to do it? Come on. What's your name? You already. Come stand here. It's me. Right. Captain. Right. Get behind. Captain. Straight line. Right. 
Now in here, there's 76,000 fans out there waiting to see it. So, so we get warmed up. <laughs> come on! Come on! Everybody move! Come on! <laughs> Okay, keep going. Get back in line. <laughs> shake hands with your opponent. Come on, shake hands with your opponent. Shake hands. No. <laughs> Now remember me telling you about the wives and girlfriends when we're in the players' lounge? Yep. This is where they watch the game from. <laughs> so that's why when a Manchester United player scores at this end of the stadium, the Stretford end, you quite often see them run across towards the corner flag here in the corner. Now you wonder why you did that, didn't you? That's because the wives and girlfriends are sat here. Exception to that rule is Wayne Rooney. If he scores at the far end, <laughs> he'll run across that way where I told you the control room was. Two windows this way is where Khalidi's wife and Kai's little boy watch the game from. So Wayne generally runs over there blowing kisses. Okay? All right. His wife and little boy up in the stand there. Is that alright? <laughs> okay, behind us here is the family stand. Only our families in there. And we also have entertainment before the game. We have face painting, balloon modelling, clowns, anything to keep the kids entertained before the game kicks off. Now also I told you at the start of the tour that we were sat in North Stand. Now up to November last year that was strictly true. Then in November last year, to commemorate something, the club decided to name a stand after an individual person for the first time in 101 years. So that stand now is known as the Sir Alex Ferguson stand to commemorate 25 years in charge and 37 <laughs> trophies. During the summer it's going to be rebadged to make it look like the Sir Alex Ferguson stand and we're also going to put a statue to the great man outside the stand as well. Well deserved, I'm sure you'll all agree. Okay, also this is the closest you're going to get to this world famous pitch. Now remember what I told you at the start, you're not allowed to touch it, you're not allowed to go on it. Okay, so don't touch, don't go on it. There are 130 cameras watching you, don't forget. <laughs> what I have forgot to mention, it's hidden in the stands here. We do have 21 snipers with high powered rifles. Snipers. <laughs> and they never miss. In fact, when we played Chelsea, they got Drogba. You must have seen him go down like he... You must have seen him go down like he'd been shot by a sniper. Okay. Right, what we're going to do now, make your way down to the halfway line. You can sit in the seats in the dugout, okay, but there's only 12 each side. There's 30, 34 of us, okay. So once you've been in the seat, come out and give somebody else a go. Okay, let's make your way down there to the dugouts, please. Thank you. Okay, just make your way down to the dugouts. <laughs> Keep moving forward.